All right, we're gonna we're keeping the live stream going. Uh, let's start it off with. I don't need to do anything, right? Right. Well, you can't. I can't. You, know, you can't. Okay, really look you got it. Made offer he sent me. Couch draft party. Oh, here we go. All right. So here's the trade. Oh, I can. I can. Uh, I can screenshot it though. That's fast. You want to put it in the Google Doc? I'll, I'll put it in. Yeah. All right. I'm not even reading it, guys. I'm just focusing on the screenshot. I'll just put it up. And Sushane overall, he 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 doesn't send BS trades. He sends no, trades that are overall fair. reasonable. Yeah, he doesn't send like uh, trades that just make me mad, and I'm like, I never want to trade with you again. <laughs> he, that's not his. Not to say he doesn't negotiate, and and you know you might have to. Oh, he gets a good fair side of the deal. Yeah, it's, he's not a pushover. I don't want it to come out like that. But I'm saying he doesn't send BS trades, and that's a that's a bad way. That's a good way to ruin relationships, um, with just trading relationships. You know, be like, okay, this guy sending me another trade. Okay, uh, scroll down. Let's bring it up. I got it up. Oh, it's nice and sexy here. Scroll down, Drew, all the way down. All the way down. Sorry. Go go go. All right, here it is. Cool. I didn't even read it yet. All right, so he's giving me – okay, this is who I wanted Ooh. from him. C.D. Lamb and Antonio Gibson. I give him Saquon and ATN. I might accept. It's a pretty hot trade. I might accept. I'm going to accept. I think I personally would. I'm going to accept. All right, give me a final answer just so people know. Would you accept? I would. Yeah, I, I think I I'm gonna accept it. right now. Yeah. I think it's. I mean, it's close. Don't get me wrong, but I think you have like Antonio Gibson. We've already talked about the upside. He's gonna be doing even more pass catching. I've heard lately. C. I Lamb. get my solidified wide. I mean, my wide receiver room goes from it's gonna be crazy. My wide receiver room goes from good sleepers, good values wide receivers to stud. You know, like a whole, uh, like a good hopeful wide receiver room to like, oh, you're wide. You, that's your strength now. We got some votes here too. <laughs> this is it. This is it, guys. Guys, we're talking about a round one, round two, round three, round four. All these guys are each round one. Yeah, Saquon well, let's Barkley see when went, they were drafted. Right here, Saquon so we Barkley. Draft well, here. Yeah, well, Saquon Barkley went round one. Uh, Gibson went round two. CD went round three and ATN went round four. Yeah, it's a one and a four for a two and a three. All right, I'm gonna accept. How sexy is this, Drew? I love it. I mean, as far as entertainment and the and the intensity, I think that you can't beat this trade. But what do you what about the sexiness of the trade? I think it's a very sexy trade in itself. Oh yeah. The names involved yeah <laughs> well i think i'm in a great deal oh absolutely i and think i sign on two and three versus one and four most days out of the week anyway it's just you know naturally. well i love that i love that range because we're talking Diggs, ridley naji gibson like i love that and then you know if if mixon falls i like that you know 2.11 for mixon which he never falls to but wishful thinking it's also a really good trade for Sushane now because at that point, what does he have? He has so running backs. On, <laughs> Etienne and Mike Davis. Yeah, he has running backs. But he has two really good running backs, right? He has Saquon and Mike Davis, plus he has a good boom, boom or bust candidate, Etienne. You, you don't have to accept it? it right now. Oh, did, did you? You? <laughs> you didn't even see it. I wasn't even paying attention to oh! it. Bro, of course. I, I have Why is it pending? Do. I thought we didn't do pending. No, no, I push them. I push trades through. We do okay. pending, but we change it to I. I just push everything through unless it's very lopsided or Maybe suspicious. Super, yeah, super yeah. Fair. One and a four for a two and a three. I don't think it gets much more fair. I mean, you can say it's like, oh, I'm winning. Oh, or still winning. winning. Like, I mean, you might have to do it now. <laughs> can I get a regrade? Well, I mean, it's only fair. I mean, this has been the big – today, the biggest topic has been how I did Sue Shane Ron by giving him a grade that doesn't matter. But, you know, I appreciate that my grades mean so much. Um, it just it just means that, you know, people look at this. People like it. Let's see. That's you commenting. Dax, Dax agrees. 
Regrade. Okay, so what's the easiest way to... Oh, sorry. Let's go back to the trade. We had a question about the trade. Let me show you guys again for those that... Here we go. For Jay. What is it? Saquon, ETN for Gibby, Lamb. Yes, correct. That is the trade. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I won or lost? I, I literally accepted it. I just accepted it one minute ago. Ridley and Lamb is elite plus Waller. That's sexy. And I still got RBs. You know, I hit the RB well. So now, you know. I mean, this was actually it. something that I kind of mentioned in our podcast about how you have some bait now. I mentioned it could be Carter. It turned out to be ETN. But one of those rookie running backs could be bait. While they're still rookies and they're shiny rookies, you know, wait three weeks and one of them busts and now you can't trade them at all, right? <laughs> so you traded them kind of like as the top of their value as far as rookie running backs go. Like ETN could go higher, but there's a good chance he gets he goes lower well, we too, don't right? know we don't know i don't we don't know but he, you know i really like saquon man it's just uh i like a gibson as well so i don't see a big difference uh but i haven't ranked closely i have antonio gibson as rb7 like extremely high and and, and just insanely high and uh i absolutely love him um, so we got lamb and gibson side for a royale did this trade actually upgrade both teams? Well, yeah, it did. I mean, I think I clearly won, and I think most people think I won. Um, but Suchet needed a running back. Yeah, he so feels like he won just based on he that. Got a, yeah, that he, got, he got a Saquon Barkley so and ETN. So now he's got Very way more solid. running backs. So now he's got three running backs, and I'm about to give him – This is <laughs> – bro, my, I, that was – a. <laughs> That's one hell of a trade he sent me. Uh, I mean, I didn't even have to give up a third player. Yeah, this is. I think we got to put this in the audio podcast. I gotta, I gotta edit the podcast a little bit, which is fine. I gotta put this part in. I mean, I'd accepted it. I didn't because I wasn't thinking. God, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do the show. I'm not really thinking. I didn't even read the trade until we put it up. Wow, what a block! I mean, we hit it with the block. We got Sue Shane in the league. And we're hitting it with blockbuster trades. <laughs> we just aired the video. Like, it's this league's brand new draft. That draft board is still fresh, man. Couch, this is a fair, this is a very good assessment by Jack right here. Couch won, but Sue Shane saved himself. There's another one. His wide receivers are still fine losing Lamb. He had Adams, IU. Yes, because he has Devontae Adams, who's, you know, the, the elite man. of the elite, you know, most <laughs> have him as wide receiver one. His yeah, wide receivers not. are, yeah, he drafted wide receivers every other pick. <laughs> every other pick was a wide. Like, he has eight, this man has eight wide receivers, literally. Well done, guys. Round of applause for the. For Should we get back to adding people to leagues or what? No, we'll do the t regrade. Oh, okay, yeah. We got the off the, you, you interrupted the regrade for this. Let's go to the, go to the draft board. Let's do it. All right, so Sushay now has Devontae Adams, Saquon Barkley. Oh, my God. Um, not CD Lamb. Uh, Brandon Ayuk. <laughs> Brandon Ayuk, ETN, <coughs> T. Higgins, Mike Davis, Tom Brady, Elijah Moore, Robert, much better team, Robert Tunyon, Trevor Lawrence, Cole Komet, Terrace Marshall, Ravens D, Deami Brown, Jason Sanders, good kicker, Donovan Peoples Jones. So he went from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You gotta think I'm exaggerating. 16 round draft where you only start two wide receivers. He had eight wide receivers. Now he has seven. Much more acceptable. The amount you want is about six in this league, just so you guys freaking know. Okay. How many do I have, Drew? Six wide receivers. All right. How many you got? One, two, three, four. Five. See what I'm saying? Like you want six wide receivers in this league. You got freaking eight. Eight. Drew has five. You have eight. So now you only yep. got seven wide receivers. You had two running backs, which is you know basically a fatality to yourself. Uh, and now you got three. So I would grade this. Um C plus or B minus? I'm leaning B minus. Yeah, I'd go B minus. Big risk get, at tight oh end. That's the only reason. Everything else. He's I high like. on those guys. He's high on those guys. So yeah, it's but it's still right tight end to uh, tight end roulette. Like, 
Like I could like I, I'm talking about Irv Smith. Like Irv Smith could pan out, but he's very risky. You know, all these guys. This is basically the same thing. B minus. Yep. So Chad agrees. B okay. Everyone give Sushane a new grade. So his his team is team ten, but he just traded me Antonio Gibson and CD Lamb for my Saquon Barkley and ETN. Yeah, and all you all you haters on my running backs now got to turn around because now I got Michael Carter, Javante Williams, and Antonio Gibson. Oh, buddy, I love it. I love it. See, this is why this is why you do what you do. I took a lot of hits at the at the running back. I passed up on Julio Jones, which hurt me. During um, this podcast, you took the hits, but yeah, I, I did. Swinging. I mean, it hurt me as in like it hurt me emotionally during the like it hurt. It was painful to do oh, it. That's what I. No, no, you. It's fine. But I'm just saying, like passing on Julio Jones, it hurt me. Like it hurt to do that. Like it was. It was very hard to do that. I knew I had to keep attacking running backs. My running backs are so dang risky. I'm not. I'm not defying that fact at all. Like, but like we were. It's funny how this worked out. What was I saying, bro? Lock it. No trade value, right? Running backs, trade value. Rookie Big running time. backs are sexy. Darren Waller, trade value. These guys are scarce. These guys are valuable. Like nobody wants freaking Jimmy Garoppolo. No Niner fan drafted Jimmy Garoppolo. No one wants freaking Derek Carr. Raider fan drafted Derek Carr. No one wants Kirk Cousins goes undrafted in these type of leagues. Like nobody wants these dudes. Tyler Lockett. No one wants to trade him in a two wide receiver league. You can find wide receivers on waivers. Uh, my wide receiver two is Odell Beckham. Don't get banned again, bro. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> That's funny though. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Great upgrade. Oh, Sean, you're the man. Hopefully, you he can... had my back earlier. No, nah, he's, he's Sean. I know. <laughs> D minus to B minus. Talk about an upgrade. Talk about an upgrade. Man, that was a lot of extra credit you had to turn in for that. Yeah, that the case? So like you know, when we were failing classes, your teacher'd be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give you like 40 yeah, extra we had points to do for it. this." For yeah, one, one time I got an incomplete grade. Parents didn't like that. <laughs> like, what what kind of f is this? <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? What kind of? Yeah, what it, it looks? I mean, it's bad. All right, let's go to the to the league. 